Hey everyone, um, I just wanted to make a quick video on how to remove, replace, um, or put back on um, your serpentine belt in a 2004 Ford Taurus um, 3.0 engine, liter engine, it is the DOHC V6. I'm not sure if the OHV engine bay is a little bit different as far as placement of parts. Um, but basically, I replaced mine a few days ago. Um, I was driving and didn't even realize it at the time that it had broke. Um, but I drove about a half hour with no power steering. Um, that pulley right there is for the AC compressor. And then, I'm not sure if you can see that pulley right there, end of my fingertip, is for the alternator. So, I drove for about a half hour and drained my battery completely um, before I parked here. And then started the next day and it just won't start. Or it won't even turn on. So, um, got really lucky just driving on battery power. Um, but, if you ever have your power steering and your AC go out at the same time, um, I would consider just pulling over right away and popping your hood, seeing if the um, the belt is broken or damaged or cracked in some way or just completely fell off. Um, I guess that's how I knew that I needed to replace mine. So how I did that, um, Ford is really nice here. Um, I've never changed it on a Ford. I changed it on a, my Pontiac G6 um, a few years ago. Um, but basically, it's super, super tight down there. So what you could do is take out your coolant reservoir. Um, I didn't because mine was full of coolant. If you, have for some reason, want to drain your coolant or it's already drained and you're doing other repairs, um, that could gain you a lot more access um, down here. Um, but basically, I had to have a second person help me. I couldn't do it on my own when I tried. Um, so I, mine was broken first off so I didn't need to take mine off if you did want to take yours off um, you would need a serpentine belt tool and I will link that tool as well as the diagram for the pulley system um, in the description below but basically this right here is your tensioner um, and so if you this little crack right here where my finger is if you felt all the way down there with your hand, even just along the side of the tensioner, uh, you'd feel a little tiny hole. Uh, it's like a square sized gap, um, about the size of a fingernail. And you would take the tool that I'm gonna link in the description. Um, you'd stick that and make sure that it's in the hole. And then um, if you are standing at the front of the engine, like on the, the side of the coolant reservoir, you would hold the bar and you'd pull it to the right. And what that does is it releases the tension on the tensioner, um, gives you a little bit of extra slack um, to bring the belt up and over. So basically, if you have, what I did is I started on the, you can't see it, it's super dark down there and I don't have a flashlight unfortunately. Um, but the very bottom pulley on the diagram that I'll also show you, um, if you wrap it, the, your new belt around that, make sure it's completely taut and tight. Um, then give it to your friend and have them hold up, pull up right here. Um, and then make sure it doesn't fall off that bottom one. Slowly work your way up. Then I went to the alternator. Then I went to the AC compressor. And then finally I came to the pulley on the bottom of the tensioner. Wrapped it around there. And there's actually one more pulley that you can't see right under where the tensioner is. So there's five total, I believe. Um, and after around those four, I pulled up, my friend pulled up, and it was about to this bolt right here on the power steering pump. And I could not pull it up any higher. And that's where you put your bar down in the tensioner, pull, to the right give it some slack and then I'll give you just about just enough slack to pull it up and put it on this pulley then you want to make sure that it is on double and triple check really that it's on all of your pulleys correctly um, before you start your car because you don't want to fall off snap or anything to make you have to do it all over again so um, double and triple check that and then
then just inspect everything else make sure that really there's no damage there's no wetness there's no anything on the new belt before you start the car um and then put your reservoir back if you didn't um reattach all your hoses and clamps and then go ahead and start it up and see if it works and if it does great but really this is it that's the um reverse of removal is the exact same way it's a lot easier to take it off if you want to take it off just stick the tensioner or the the tool in that tensioner release the slack and just pop it off that top one and once it's off the top one it's easy to just reach your hand down and grab it off the rest of them but then putting it back on is where it's hard and you're going to need a friend so um this should be done i think about every hundred thousand miles as a generic um number it may be closer to eighty thousand on some cars 120 on others um, but it's really just it's good to inspect it every other oil change really too just to make sure that there's no cracks in it or anything but um, if this helped you out in any way um, feel free to give it a like i'd really appreciate that um, but leave any comments um, below if you have any questions if there's anything that i could help with or um, anything that you think that i left out thank you